Hello everyone, I'm Professor Amri Tralawalia, the Secretary General of the 19th World Congress of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology that was due to take place in July 2022. I have some important news about the Congress that I need to share with you. Following consultation with the senior leadership of both the International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology, uh, IUFAR, and the British Pharmacological Society, we've decided to move the Congress to 2023. This could be viewed as perhaps an overcautious measure, but we are absolutely determined that there should be as few barriers as possible to delegates attending and joining us in Glasgow. And the very heart of our decision, of course, is the safety and well-being of everyone involved. In addition, however, there is the issue of accessibility. As I speak to you, several countries across the world have begun to implement vaccination programmes to tackle the spread of COVID-19 and ultimately to bring the pandemic to an end. This is wonderful to see and particularly so because it's an absolutely excellent example of the life-changing and life-saving impact of the work of our scientific community. But, and this is a really big part, because of the variation in the rollout of vaccination schemes across the globe, uh, and the possibility that without vaccination travel may not be possible, we're really concerned that holding the Congress in 2022 may mean that some delegates simply cannot attend. In addition, across the globe, there are also varying travel and quarantine restrictions between countries. And we recognise that even if one could travel, these restrictions may actually prevent timely attendance at the Congress. There is also considerable uncertainty regarding the availability of airline carriers and other international transport. Travel industry worldwide has been substantially impacted during the pandemic and we're not really yet able to fully understand what this might mean for the Congress. For all of these reasons, we believe that moving the World Congress of Pharmacology to 2023 is a positive step and one uh, which will ensure that we can meet safely in large numbers when global vaccination is on a surer footing. Also, of course, by delaying by a year, we increase the likelihood of us being able to have, of course, a vibrant and celebratory Congress, but where we also have the chance to network face to face. And all of us know that a key aspect and purpose of the World Congress of Pharmacology is to do this face to face networking. Also, by pushing back the meeting to 2023, this will create more time for many of our colleagues who have increased or changing workloads due to the pandemic. We're really mindful that there are many of us who've needed to focus on aspects other than our research during these difficult times. And all of these reasons together underlie our decision to delay to 2023. So please remember to sign up to our mailing list on the Contact Us page on our website. And this is important because um, it, we will be sending out um, information and emails that will keep you up to date with all the latest Congress news. So I really look forward to seeing you all again soon to tell you more about the road to WCP 2023. Uh, but in the meantime, stay safe. Thank you. Bye bye.